Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your undivided attention. I am going to introduce to you, in the corner of the good and right, the champion robed in white. His height exceeds the heavens. His weight outweighs the world. His, his reach reaches everywhere. His age is evermore. His name is faithful and true. He is the first and the last, the beginning and the end. He is the almighty Elohim. He is Yeshua HaMashiach, the son of the living Elohim. He was conceived of the Ruach HaKadosh, born of a virgin, increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with Elohim and man. He came down that we might be lifted up. He became poor that we might become rich. He came to earth that we might go to heaven. He became a servant that we might be made co-heirs. He became the son of man that we might become sons of Elohim. He was born of a woman so that we could be born of Elohim. He denied himself so that we might freely receive all things. He gave himself so that he could bless us with all spiritual blessings. He is above all powers. The heaven of heavens cannot contain him. He left his eternal throne in heaven and stepped down into time. He put on flesh and walked the earth he created. He humbled himself and was obedient even unto death. He stepped down into the lower parts of the earth to deliver the good news. Because of his obedience, Elohim exalted him and given him a name that is above every name. That name is Yeshua HaMashiach. He is above all else and beyond all words, holy, omnipotent. There is none like him. His glory fills the earth, glorious, magnificent, wonderful, so mighty the whole world shakes in awe. Isaiah saw John, high and lifted up and seated on a throne. The seraphim above him, they covered their faces, and one called to the other, crying, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord. The heavens declare his glory, and the firmament showeth his handiworks. He has always been and always will be. He is the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega, the Aleph and the Tau, the A and the Z, and everything that falls between. By him were all things made that were made, and without him was not anything made that was made. By him all things hold together. In him dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily, the very Elohim of very Elohim. He is our Kingsman Redeemer and our Avenger of Blood. He is our City of Refuge, our Performing High Priest, our Personal Prophet and our Reigning King. He is wiser than Solomon, he is stronger than Samson, he is greater than Alexander. I am talking about Yeshua HaMashiach. The mere mention of his name can calm the storm, heal the broken, raise the dead. At the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, I see sin-hardened men melted, derelicts transformed. At the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, hatred and bitterness turn to love and forgiveness. Emperors have tried to destroy that name. Philosophies have tried to stamp it out. Tyrants have tried to wash it from the face of the earth with the very blood of those who claim it. And yet it still stands. He is going to reign with a rod of iron in his righteousness. Because he is the champion of champions. He is higher than the highest. He is greater than the greatest. He is mightier than the mightiest. He is stronger than the strongest. He is wiser than the wisest. He reigns from above. No one will ever take his crown away. He sits enthroned in the highest heavens. He is all-time undisputed, undefeated champion of the ages. 
Yeshua is the game changer. He can change your whole life. He is the Lamb of Elohim who takes away the sins of the world. He is the light that came into the world to guide all nations. He is the bright and morning star. He is the lily of the valley. He is the everlasting Father. He is Elohim the Almighty. He is the Lord of both the living and the dead. Watch this. To fully explain who Yeshua is, is impossible. However, to ignore him is disastrous. To reject him is fatal. But to know him is to love him. To love him is to trust him. To trust him is to be radically, dramatically, and eternally changed from darkness to light, from death to life. He is a rock in a weary land. He is the sure and solid foundation. He is the horn of our salvation. He is a shelter in the time of storm. He is a shade by day and a defense by night. He is the ancient of days. He is the wheel in the middle of the wheel. He is the beginning and the end. He is the first and the last. He is the head of all principalities and powers. He is the door of the sheep. Hallelujah! He is the Lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the Shepherd and Bishop of our soul. He is the Captain of the host of the Lord. He is the Captain of our salvation. He is the author of eternal salvation. He is the author and finisher of our faith. He is the treasure of heaven crucified. He is the Prince of Peace. He is our prophet, priest, and king. He is the express image of Elohim. He is the creator of all things visible and invisible. He is the rose of Sharon. He is the redeemer of the world. He is the refiner's fire. Hallelujah. He is the root and offspring of David. He is the son of righteousness. He is the mighty conqueror. He is the friend that stick closer than a brother. He is the blessed and only potentate. He is the end of the law. He is the faithful and true witness. He is Elohim, the God of heaven and earth. He heals the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leper, the maimed made whole, the deaf hear, the dumb speak, the lunatic restored, demon possessed delivered. He took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. He provides strength to the weak. He forgives the sinners. He delivers the captives. He is ready to aid the tempted, the tested, and tried. His love for us is unconditionally amazing. That love took him to the cross. We are the beneficiaries of a love letter. It was written in blood on a wooden cross, erected in Judea over 2,000 years ago. He was crucified on a cross of wood, yet he made the hill on which it stood. It wasn't the nails that held him to that cross. He could have summoned 10,000 angels to destroy the world and to set him free, but he died alone for you and me. Satan thought he had won the bout. Instead, the cross was his ultimate knockout. At the cross, Yeshua disarmed the powers and authorities of Satan. He regained eternal life for man by defeating Satan's centered plan, ascending to heaven in great victory. Our Savior reigns for all eternity. He is the Lion of the Lamb who shed his blood and died for our sins, rose victorious and reigns as King forevermore. Hallelujah! He is the ultimate monarchy. He is the sovereign King. No means of measure can define his limitless love. He is King of the Jews, a racial King. He is King from the line of David. He is king of Israel, a national king. He is king of every nation. He is the king of knowledge. He is king of all the ages, king forever. He is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. He had no predecessor and he had no successor. You can't impeach him and he's not going to resign. 
His office is manifold. He reigns in righteousness. His promises are sure. His goodness is limitless. His light is matchless. His grace is sufficient. His love is unfathomable. His mercy is everlasting. His word is final. He is irresistible. He is invincible. He is immortal. His grace is remarkable. His mercies are innumerable. His strength is impenetrable. He is honorable, accountable, favorable. He is unsearchable yet knowable, indefinable yet approachable. He is indescribable yet personal. He is beyond human comprehension, further than imagination constant through generations he is a prophet before moses a priest after melchizedek he is the mightiest of all his power none can contain man cannot explain him the pharisees could not stand him and learned they could not stop him Pilate could not find any fault in him the witnesses could not agree against him herod could not kill him death could not handle him and the grave could not hold him he is enduringly strong he is entirely sincere he is eternally steadfast he is immortally graceful he is imperially powerful he is impartially merciful he is elohim's son he is a sinner's savior he is the centerpiece of civilization he stands alone in himself he is, he is unparalleled he is unprecedented he is supreme he is preeminent i am talking about yeshua hamashiach he is the loftiest idea in literature he is the highest personality in philosophy he is the fundamental doctrine in theology he is the supreme problem in higher criticism he is the miracle of all the ages he is the only one able to supply all of our needs simultaneously you can't get him out of your mind you can't get him off your hands you can't outlive him and you can't live without him he is the wellspring of wisdom he is the doorway of deliverance he is the pathway of peace he is the roadway of righteousness he is the highway of holiness he is the gateway of glory he is the master of the mighty he is the captain of the conquerors he is the head of the heroes he is the leader of the legislators he is the overseer of the overcomers he is the governor of governors he is the prince of princess hallelujah at calvary satan thought he had won he did not know about resurrection morning the living one who was dead behold he is alive forevermore he and he holds the keys of death and hell he has complete and full authority over hell but hell was not made for us my friend no human being have to go there it's your choice Jesus is the resurrection and the life. He is the tree of life. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the living bread that came down from heaven. He is the living water that satisfies thirsty souls. He is the sum total of all things. He is the starter and stopper of everything. Everything has its meaning as it relates to him. He is the definition of all terms. Everything can be explained from the position of Yeshua HaMashiach. He is Yeshua to the glory of Elohim. And he will come and manually, physically and violently take the kingdom of this world. And they will become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. Hallelujah.